Okay, friends, we're gonna make some roasted sweet potato and apple soup. Doesn't that sound so good? Um, when I saw this fun potato friend with his two circles, I, I thought, oh, they're little eyes. And then I carved a mouth because there's nothing more than I love in the world besides my family and all that stuff. Um, and then food with faces. You guys seen um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, right? That's like my favorite movie because the food is faces and it's adorable. Anyway, so we're gonna um, cut up my friend. We're gonna poke holes in him um, and all of our friends here and we're gonna put him in the oven. We're gonna roast him for 40 to 45 minutes or until they're tender. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna cut up the onion, the apple and the celery and we're gonna saute them until they're soft. Um, then we're gonna scoop out the potatoes put it into the um, saucepan with, or sorry, the stock pot with water and, um, and then cook it with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's gonna be great. So I rough chopped the celery and the onion because I'm going to use an immersion blender afterwards, but I thinly sliced the apple, well kind of thinly, it's not like super thin, but I did that so um, that would cook a little bit faster so it could start getting caramely. I put some olive oil over the top and now I'm just going to saute it for about 10 minutes until everything is So it's been cooking for about 10 minutes now and you see the bottom of the pan has got some like brown bits on it. I'm going to use some water and deglaze the pan so I'm getting those yummy bits of caramelized onion and apple and celery I'm getting it off um, and into the mixture. I'm going to just get as many of the brown bits off as I can then I'm going to take it off the heat as these are all very soft now. Um, nice and fork tender and then I'm going to scoop the, um, the flesh out of the sweet potatoes put that in here and do the next step. So my potatoes are out of the oven and I scooped out the insides. M make sure they cool first. And then I just put them in here with six cups of water and a little bit of salt and pepper. Now the salt and pepper is to taste, so I just put a little bit in to start. You can see my yummy aromatics that were in there from before. And I'm just gonna simmer this until um, it comes up to, I don't know, a bubbling goodness and then I'm going to use my immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender you can do it in a food processor or in a regular blender in small quantities um, but that's going to make it. We're going to make it nice and smooth. A nice smooth soup. Okay so it's all cooked up. It's just everything got bubbly and then it got real good. So this is an immersion blender right? Have you ever seen one of these? Um my mom got me this when I was in college. And I was like, I don't, I don't need that. And she was like, yeah, you do. I never used it in college, but I tell you, I use it all the time. And the, now I do it. So it has like a little whirling blade and then it swirls around and you just have to keep it in the liquid. You can't like lift it out and in and out and in. So I'm gonna, um, let's make this into a creamy soup. So here we go. I just blended it all up. It's nice and smooth. I'm gonna taste it. Oh, oh, it's like, it's sweet, but it's savory. Um, it's amazing. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Just happen to have some right here. I'm gonna do that. A little bit more salt. You always wanna taste, right? You wanna taste with a clean spoon taste as you go. Um, and I wanted to wait until everything was blended up to get that. Um, oh, another clean spoon. Mmm, that is perfect. So now I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich and have it with this and call it lunch. Bye friends.